The Commonwealth Rally commenced its journey from Point Pedro exactly one month ago and it reached Colombo this evening. Well, the final leg of the journey of the Commonwealth Rally commenced this morning from the town of Kaltara. The Commonwealth Valley, which received the well-wishers and cheers of the public on its 3,000-kilometer journey, arrived in Kalutara yesterday. A ceremony was held this morning with the participation of Project Minister of Ports and Highways, Rohit Abeguna Vardhana, to mark the commencement of today's journey. <laughs> It is the media that fosters a country's goodness and heritage. The Sirasa Media Network has taken on that responsibility through this initiative to create public awareness on the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. We extend our gratitude to the Sirasa Media Network. The flag of South Africa was hoisted on the main float carrying the flags of Commonwealth nations. The currency of Zambia is false. Thereafter, the Commonwealth Valley began the final leg of its journey. Amid cheers of the public, the Commonwealth Valley arrived at the National Youth Services Council in Maharagama. A special ceremony was organized at the National Youth Services Council in Maharagama to welcome the Commonwealth Valley, which has received a rapturous reception from a cross-section of society. The national flag was seen flying high over the National Youth Services Council, depicting the pride of Sri Lankans who have joined hands to welcome state leaders from over 50 countries for the prestigious Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. 20 feet in width and 30 feet in 